Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all well. Um, welcome to today's virtual press conference to preview our game against Shkendia tomorrow night. Uh, everything is all in, so um, if you do have a question, please raise your hand and we will try to get to you. Um, so whoever would like to raise their hand first, we'll get started. You see Dan Kilpatrick as being first. So Dan, mm -hmm. we'll come to you first. Hey, Jose. How hey, you Jose. doing? Hey, uh, Jose, can, can, we, can you tell us about your, your travelling squad? Uh, is Sergio Regulon likely to be involved? And, and is Dele Alli likely to, to make the trip? Dele Alli, yes. He makes the trip. Uh, Sergio, no. He's not even uh, in the UEFA list because we knew that he couldn't... He couldn't be ready to play this this match, so we kept the same list of uh, the previous uh, round. And Sergio, not yet. Okay, we're going to go to Jerry Cox. Jerry, hi Jose. Do, does that mean Sergio would be able to play if you go forward? Uh, let's say to the third qualifier, if you change the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this moment, the list comes match after match. So if we progress for the next match, we can, we can change players in the, in the list. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to a question from James from Talk Sport. James. Chesa, you mentioned that Delhi's in the squad for tomorrow's game. How has he responded over the last few days in training? And on top of that as well, how have Gareth and Sergio bedded into this first squad? What's the question about Gary and... Say, yeah. again, say it again, James. So the, f the first Quite question, long. the first, sorry, the no, first the question. The Delhi question I, I heard. Do yeah, so in I'll let you have two questions, James. So go with Delhi first. Right, we'll go with Delhi first. So Jose, in terms of Delhi Ali, how has he responded over the last few days? It clearly seems to be a good response, the fact that he's in the squad tomorrow. I always told that uh, he will have his, his opportunities. I always told that uh, no problem at all to have him. And like every other player, performances are, uh, are very important. So he's coming. He has a chance to, to play. And it will be important for him to, to perform. It will be important for him and for every other player when the squad becomes competitive in, in many positions is important for every player that is on the pitch to, to have an answer and to, and to perform. Go on, James, have one more. Uh, and in terms of Sergio and Gareth joining up with the squad, they're not available to play tomorrow, but how are they bedded in? No, they look uh, both very happy for different reasons, of course. For Gareth is, is to be back home. And of course, he's showing uh, that he's really, really happy. And um, he's working hard to try to recover from, from his injury and to try to be fit as, as soon as possible. Uh, Sergio is in a more advanced uh, stage. I also feel him really happy, really comfortable. Um, speaks very good English, so no problem for him to interact and to come easy to the, um, to the team. So everything is going well for them. I think we, we as, as a whole, as a club, as an organization, we impress them. Uh, they, are, uh, they are happy, they are motivated, and the team is waiting for them. Okay, we're gonna go to Charlie Ecclesia. Charlie. Hi, Jose. Charlie. Jimmy. Hey, um, I yep. just wonder how uh, strange and difficult it is. You were obviously preparing for a game yesterday that didn't happen. How, how challenging is that for you and your staff? It was hard. It was hard because uh, we didn't know well <laughs> what to do. Uh, even during the day when uh, we had a training session, I, I didn't know if it was a training session with the game or a training session without a game was was not easy, but we managed to to try to find a, a balance and to keep the players active until the moment we 
we were informed that um, we were not going to play the game. Okay, I'm going to go to Matt Law, whose camera isn't on. Matt, Matt, are you there? I am here. Am I meant to have my camera on? I haven't switched it on. Does it matter? We're fine with that. Okay. Um, hi, Jose. Hey, Matt. Can I, can I just go back to Delhi? I mean, when, when you first came into the club, you made a point of approaching him and, and asking, making the joke to him about whether it's Delhi or his brother. And you, you've, you've seen from day one to, to really want to get the best out of Delhi. So, and we've seen flashes of it under, with him under you. But I'm, I'm just wondering, do you still believe he can be a real top, top player? And, and what does he need to do from here on in? First of all, I believe that Tottenham is really a special club. My players must be special players and, my, and I must be a special coach because every club has situations where uh, players are not playing, players are on the bench, players are not selected. And it looks like it's, it's only for us that every time that some player doesn't play or is not selected, it looks like is um, something that doesn't happen in in many other places. So that is my first part of of the answer. The second part is uh, something that we all know. Uh, we all know that since Dele arrived from from MK Dons, he had ups and downs. He had fabulous periods and he had also other periods where uh, he disappeared from the top level uh, performances and uh, with me it was not different than than before he had moments where uh, he was so good and he also had moments where he was not so good and i think this this lack of um, of consistency when it happens in in a player the normal situation when you have other good players for similar uh, positions is normal that when you are in in great form you play because you deserve because your production is is big for the team when you are in a good when you are not in a good moment you don't play and is as simple as as that players they have to prove on the pitch with their performances they have to prove how good they are in that specific in that specific moment so tomorrow is uh, is selected no decision yet about starting or being on on the bench but when he is selected he has chances to play if he is on the pitch, one minute or ninety minutes, he has to show us. That's simple. Okay, we're going to go to Matt Barlow now. Matt Barlow, can you ready? Hello, Jose. Hey, Matt. Um, can I take you back to the the disruption? Orient. Is it? Will you automatically play the same team that was going to play at Orient? in Macedonia or, or is it is it not that simple and if it's not that simple why not and what are your thoughts on the on the whole testing procedure when you see what happened at West Ham last night the team that was supposed to play last night is different than the team that plays that plays tomorrow uh, the main reason is we played Sunday against Southampton and one thing is Sunday, Tuesday, another thing is Sunday, uh, Thursday. So it's a normal situation for a football player of this level to play Sunday, to have three days rest and to play again on, on Thursday, normal. It's not normal to play Sunday and to play Tuesday. So obviously the teams are going to be to be different. The main reason is is health and and conditions to conditions to perform. Um, is the the Europa League a competition that we want very very much to go to the group phase? Yes, it is. 
I think from my experience and even you without experience on, on my chair, but as a journalist, you can perfectly feel that is much more difficult, this knockout than the group phase of four teams and, and six matches. Because the six matches give us a little space of mistake. Uh, for example, at United, we lost two matches in the group phase. We won four and we progress. So we cannot take many risks with these, um, with these matches. And even playing with a, with a very strong team like we did in, in Bulgaria, we were 15 minutes away from a defeat and being knocked out. In relation to the, to the Carabao Cup, my initial feeling was when people doesn't respect us, why should we respect the competition? But in the end, this is a competition where uh, I have an history. Uh, Tottenham has an history. It was the last trophy that Tottenham uh, won. And it's a competition where we think we have the same rights as all the others to try to, to, try to compete. But um, basically, it's that. And in relation to testing and uh, COVID and all this situation, so many contradictions that I don't want myself to go into this, this world of contradictions. I see so many contradictions, uh, the way different countries react to it, uh, the way football authorities in different countries react to it. There are so many contradictions that honestly, I just do what I'm, I'm told to do and uh, I don't want to get into that. Okay, I'm going to go to John Cross now. John. Jose, can I just ask you one more about um, Delhi, please, if, if I may. Do you, do you see him staying beyond the, 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 the transfer window um, after mm -hmm. the transfer deadline shuts? And, and also, yeah. obviously, you know, you've been so successful in the past in kind of, I don't know, some, some tough love in, in basically in getting, you know, showing players some tough love, whether that's taking them out of the team to get them back into teams in the past. Do, you, you know, are you confident that Delhi can respond and will respond and you can, you, you know, you can push on with, with him going forward? I, I, there is a tendency now of um, when a player... When a player performs or the player doesn't perform to, to give responsibilities on, uh, on coaches and uh, some because they gave him the right love, some because they gave him the right stick. Um, I always feel that 99% of the responsibility is the player. I have 1%. Me and my staff and the people that works with the players every day, we have 1% of that responsibility. Is 99% belongs to them. Okay, I've only got time for two more questions, I'm afraid. So they will be Matt Dunn and George Cummins. So Matt, we're gonna to come to you first. Hi, Jose. Um, I thought in the All or Nothing documentary, one of the strongest scenes was when you sat down with Delhi and told him about how quickly time goes. And one minute you're 20, the next you're 56. Uh, I'm and tired of Amazon. I'm tired of Amazon. And I'm not tired of Delhi because he's a great kid. But I'm, I'm tired of questions of, of Delhi Ali. You make this a non-Amazon question. OK, um, well, Fergie told you at Manchester United he was the one player That's that Amazon. you want... Sorry? That was Amazon related again. Well, I, I, I'm, it's a matter of fact that Fergie told you when you were at Manchester United uh, that he was the one player that, Del that he told you to go out and sign for United. Would he say that about Delhi now? And if not, why not? I don't know. You have to ask Sir Alex. And Ole, if... Sir Alex had the same opinion to Wally. 
George, I'm going to come to you for the last one, please. Okay, thank you. George Cummins. Jose, hello. It's just one on one on Orient. Orient want the match replayed because they say they don't want to be punished for for having positive tests. So can it be replayed or will you get a buyer? What's going to happen with that and what's your thoughts on that? I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I was ready to play yesterday. Not happy, but I process our calendar. I process my bad feelings in relation to the unfair schedule that we that we got and i was ready to play yesterday we didn't and now i'm i'm ready to play to play tomorrow i i don't know nothing else all right guys thank you very much thank you cheers